So now we're going to move on to integrals of the form power of tangent times the power of secant. Similar idea to the ones where we had powers of sine and cosine, except they can be a little bit more challenging sometimes. Right, so with sine and cosine, we essentially rely on the Pythagorean identity and, and half angle, you know, these power reduction formulas. Um, we still have, of course, a Pythagorean identity. We don't have those same nice power reduction formulas, but what we do rely on is that we, we have these relationships among the derivatives of tangent and secant, right? The derivative of tangent is secant squared. The derivative of secant, secant times tan. And, and so you sort of rely on that. And, and often, if the, if the powers work out right, you can look for a u substitution. So in particular, if, if you have an even power of secant, integrals with even powers of secant are probably the most straightforward because what you can always do, right, is you can split off two of those, write that as secant to the fourth x times secant squared, okay? And so the reason that's helpful is that, of course, secant squared is the derivative of tan, and if you have an even power, you can employ the Pythagorean identity, right? Secant to the fourth is just secant squared squared, and so what we get is we get tan squared x, so secant to the fourth becomes 1 plus tan squared x, all squared, times secant squared x dx, right? And now you're set up for that u substitution. Now we can let u equal to tan x, du is going to be secant squared x dx, and this integral is going to become the integral of u squared times 1 plus u squared squared, and this, of course, this is just du. Okay. And like with the sine and cosine ones, the easiest way to deal with this is typically to multiply everything out. So u squared times 1 plus 2 u squared plus u to the 4. So multiply the u squared through. u squared plus 2 u to the 4th plus u to the 6th. Now we can simply integrate term by term. We have 1 over 3 u cubed, 2 over 5 u to the 5, 1 over 7, u to the 7, and all that's left to do is put back that u is equal to tan x. Tan to the 7. Okay, and, and that does it, right? Here's your result.